I've got a really great video for y'all today. Spring hasn't sprung in my neck of the woods, but I'm willing it to come my way by sharing these six easy spring DIYs. It's part of a playlist hosted by none other than the amazing Corey from Crafted by Corey. Her link to her channel and the playlist link will be in the description box below. Now, it's time to craft y'all. My name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. For the first project, I just start off by giving the outside of this little tray that I got from Dollar Tree a coat of white paint. And it's the color Adirondack from Folk Art. I took a large craft stick. I usually get mine from Lowe's, but you can find them at Dollar Tree too sometimes. Anyway, I'm cutting it down into little squares. I found these little wooden flowers at Hobby Lobby and I'm just taking various colored paint pens and painting the tops of the flowers. I then take a green paint pen and color in the stems and the leaves. To stain the craft stick squares, I'm using Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And I'm just using a chippy brush to apply the color and then I'm wiping it off with a damp rag and then letting it all dry. Y'all know I usually just eyeball stuff, but I did use a ruler to try and line this up before hot gluing the pieces down. Then it was just a matter of gluing those little wood flowers down on top of the little boxes that I made. I could have used my Cricut for this part, but instead I'm just using a white paint pen and freehanding the word spring. and it is a little light, so I go back and retrace the letters. I would have used my thicker white paint pen for this part, but it recently bit the dust and I haven't gotten a replacement yet. To finish this piece, I wound some jute twine around the bottom and added a simple bow. I think it turned out so cute. few of these vintage spice containers left so I am using them for DIY number two. I'm giving them a coat of folk art paint in the color Milk Jug. I searched for vintage milk bottles on Google and found these three images, images that I liked. I printed them out and scaled them down to the size of the little spice containers and I'm just taking a small dot of Mod Podge and then I'm gonna place a little picture I'd printed out on top and then smooth it out. Next, I am wrapping jute twine around the neck of the jar and tying that off. The inspo for this piece came from a shop on Etsy and I'll have a link to that shop in my description box below if you'd like to check it out. And just like the inspo piece, I am hot gluing on some black buffalo check ribbon around the bottom. And this is how they turned out. I think they're gonna look super cute on my tiered tray. This little house shape came off of another Dollar Tree sign and I'm actually gonna make a little mini dupe of a Kirkland sign. Well, it's not actually a dupe since this is the shape of the house and the other sign is like a regular sign shape, but you get the idea. Anyway, I'm just giving this a coat of the folk art paint in the color Adirondack. Adirondack, Adirondack, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I printed off the decal using my Cricut, although you really could freehand it, but I wanted it to look super neat and as you can see, I also got help from Captain. He likes to scratch his chin with the camera arm thingy. Anyways, I just apply the decal and then it's good to go. Now 
I did go around the edges with a black paint pen and I think this turned out super cute and looks a lot like the Kirkland's home sign. So Google it and let me know what you think. And for this project, I took some white wood gift tags that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's on an end cap in the his and her section, but this section doesn't go on sale. It's kind of like right by that section. Anyway, it's got that clearance looking tag on it. So it's always quote unquote marked down but they weren't too expensive and I think they are just the right size to craft with. I have this carbon paper and I had found this trio of bunnies online and I can't remember where I found it or who, whose channel it was on, but if I can find it, I'll link it below. They were on a gift tag shaped wood piece so I thought this would be cute to recreate, so I did. So I scaled the photo down to the size of my wood tags and I'm just gonna trace the bunny shapes onto it. Now, it's just a matter of coloring them in. I'm using a paint pen, but you could use a craft paint, you could use craft paint, or you could even use a Sharpie marker to do this part if you want. And if you're enjoying my videos, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that YouTube will notify you every time I share something new. To give these pieces some character, I go in with my distressing ink around the edges. And if you didn't know, I have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget with my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY. And we would love it if you would join us. The link will be below and after you join, share a photo or two of the things that you're working on. We'd love to see them. Now this is how my bunny trio turned out and I think they look pretty cute. I could go back in and make them a little more uniform in color, but honestly, I like them just the way they are. I took another one of those clearance Hobby Lobby houses, y'all. I still have like five or six left, but they were, think I think like a dollar. So, I mean, how could I pass those up? Anyways, this painting on the front didn't stick out like the greenhouses did, so I just gave it two coats of the folk art paint in the color at a round duck, at a round duck. I'm not, I'm just gonna say white paint. Again, this is another Etsy inspo piece and the Etsy link is in the description box below. I took a Dollar Tree rub on transfer and put the word home on the bottom of this house. I took some jute twine and wrapped it around the house about five or six times and then just knotted it off. I took a small piece of greenery, trimmed it up a bit so it would lay better and added that to the twine. And I added some hot glue so it all stays secure. And this is how it turned out. The inspo piece comes in a white or a black version so I may do another recreation soon, but I just love how it looks. The final project for today is this cute little sign, which was a Hobby Lobby clearance purchase as well. I did purchase several, so you'll probably see them in future videos. But when my daughter Kat was in town, she helped me clean and reorganize my craft room and the supplies, and I discovered hidden supplies that I didn't remember that I had. So I'm sanding this down because although I'm gonna paint it, I don't wanna apply a heavy coat of paint and I wanted it to look more distressed. And I'm just lightly going over this with folk art paint in the color Adirondack. Adirondack. Y'all tell me how to pronounce that. I don't know. I'm just going to say white paint from now on. I did use my Cricut for this one and I printed out a decal that says bloom where you are planted. And I just applied that to the front of the sign. I used some more rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree and added those to the bottom corners of the sign. This sweet little piece is probably my favorite of today's video. I just love the simplicity of it and how well it goes with my decor. I just think it's really pretty. 
Thank you so much for joining me today as I crafted six easy and beautiful spring DIYs today. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!